says, no to the ID, he's parked on public street doing nothing wrong. That's right. I'm asking you to provide identification. I'm refusing it. I'm serious! Basically the story we're getting is different than what you're telling me, so... This is my neighborhood, I'm welcome to record whatever I want. And you can back off, dude. You're dismissed. You work for me, you are a public servant. Hello guys, today as always, we'll take a look at brash cops and cops who use excessive force. But in this video, I decided to compare them with other cops who act differently in the same situations. But before we start, I really ask you to support me with at least a like and a comment, special love to everyone who hit the thanks button. And let's get started. Hey, sir, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm Officer Reeves, Officer Chichester Township Police Department. The reason yep. we're here is we got a call for a suspicious vehicle, okay? Passerby or whomever called said it was a white vehicle sitting along the power lines. So. I'm sitting on the power lines. I'm sitting on a public street, minding my business. That's okay. all I'm doing. Okay, well, we got a call for a suspicious vehicle. We're just checking on said oh. vehicle. Are you the owner of the car, sir? I'm sorry, I'm not going to ask any questions. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. People drive by here, uh, see you, me parked here, doing nothing wrong. Fifth Amendment right not talk to us. So I'm not doing anything illegal, right? They're really just okay. parked on a public street. What's that, sir? Sorry for questioning your ID. I'm not going to provide that. I didn't commit any crimes. He says no to the ID. He's parked on public street doing nothing wrong. That's right. At this point, the reason we're requesting identification sure. is number one, we identify everybody we talk to. It's part of our routine. It's accepted and it's been approved by the Supreme Court. It's not been approved. And the United States been, Supreme Court. It's not been approved by any Supreme Court. Okay, all right. Well, unless you, you have reasonable. All you want, but just because you think so doesn't Unless mean you have reasonable suspicion of a crime, okay, well, I don't have to provide any ID, sir. You're on one of our streets in our town. In order for you to leave, Who's you're going to have to be legal able to drive. Who's paying for these streets, sir? Upper Chichester Township. The township, right? The yep. people. It's a taxpayer-funded street, right? Mm -hmm. And actually, that means I can park here. I can travel through here. Also, I can stop on the streets. It's not illegal for me to do that. Did I commit any infraction? You're doing anything illegal at this point. So then I'm not, a I'm not vehicle. providing any idea if I didn't commit anything illegal. If I didn't do anything illegal. This guy just parked on the side of the road. The white car you see is his. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He didn't have any weapons in his hands. But for some reason, the cops thought he was acting suspiciously. I'd like to point out that the action takes place in Pennsylvania. Let's watch the continuation and I'll explain why that's important. There's no law, that, there's, yes, there's an investigation that you have to conduct. Yes. So far in your investigation, what have you concluded that I've done? That's that I have illegal. somebody that's refusing to provide an And that's not illegal. That's Am I on illegal, arrest? Sir. You may be and we'll have to find so out. are you threatening me with arrest? Am I threatening you? No, I am not threatening you. If I do my job, that's an well, entirely different thing. Sir, well, conduct your job. I'm not providing any idea because I didn't commit any crimes. You don't need to commit a crime yes, for us you do. to ask you to yes, provide you ID, Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You need RAF. There's no probable cause. I have somebody that called in that this vehicle's been sitting Anyone here for Anyone can call in. Oh, if someone calls in here, a black guy is sitting here, is that Nobody illegal? I anything about you being black. Well, I'm saying if they do, okay, is that illegal? Do you, can, can you just come here and identify me? They didn't say you? we're a punk flamingo either, so... Well, that's fine, the world, but I'm not providing any ID. Where do we go from here? I didn't do anything illegal. You're threatening me with arrest. I'm telling you that you need to provide identification. You're I'm not providing any investigation. Do your investigation. Go and talk to the person who called and find out what I did that was illegal. Talk to them. Do your investigation. Do a thorough investigation. You just don't come here and talk to me. Talk to You're them. The see what here. I did. Because they called to talk to them. I didn't do anything wrong. You're not going to force me to identify. Do wrong, but sir. do an investigation to see I if I did anything wrong. First step my investigation is requiring you to provide I'm not providing any idea. I did nothing wrong. Pennsylvania is not a stop and identify state. So you are not even required to give your name or address. But the reality is this will annoy the cop. And while what may happen next may be illegal, you assert your right not to show identification and your right not to give your name at your own risk. For this reason, I advise you to act with common sense as well as the law. You pull up here because someone called and right. say, hey, because I need identification. Called. Doesn't work like that. I'm not providing it. Until the laws of America change where we have to identify because our officer comes and say, hey, give me an identification. Well, you I'm need to work on, on reading else. up on the court. I know exactly what it says. Okay, what does it say? I have a First Amendment right to record. I have a Fourth Amendment uh, right. I have, well, let me finish. Let me finish. I have a Fourth Amendment right to be safe in my effect, my documents and papers. I'm not unreasonably searching or seizing anything at this point. You're trying to, yes, I'm you're trying to seize my ID. I'm asking you to provide identification. I'm refusing it. And in the state of Pennsylvania, yes. if you're in a, operating a motor vehicle, which is what you're doing. I'm not operating a motor vehicle. You I'm absolutely parked. are. I'm parked on a public street. You're in command and control of the vehicle. I'm parked. Doing nothing in 
illegal. You're the subject of an investigatory detention. I need a case number. I want this documented. Nope. <laughs> okay, well, then you're not getting any ID. Okay. What's the next step? You'll probably get a citation for failure to provide driver's license. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do that. You're going to harass me for, do my dog. for doing nothing wrong. I'm not approaching the dog. You walk right close to the car. Is it illegal to be close to the car? The door is closed. I'm not going to be surprised. As I said earlier, today we are going to compare some situations, and now I suggest we look at the same incident, but only with a different cop who was acting within the law. Hello, sir. Hello. So you know you're being video and audio recorded. I see like video and audio recorded, man. Yes. Somebody called you in as a suspicious person. Okay. What are we doing here? Parked. Parked in a residential neighborhood? Parked in a public street. Is there a reason why you're here? Parked in a public street, minding my business. That's all. Do you live around here? Not answering any questions. Okay. Do you need any service from us? Any help from us whatsoever? No, but if I do, I'll make sure I yeah, give you guys a call. Okay. All right, yeah, I guess somebody saw you, asked what was going on, you moved your vehicle and parked in front of somebody else's house. Not just illegal, so you know, right? you're in front of somebody's mailbox, so if you could just move away from the mailbox because you actually can't block people's mailboxes. I'm not blocking it. The person has access to it or I'll just move back. I'm not going to leave my car. I'm going to stay right inside the car. And you're just going to stay inside? I'm going to move. I'm not going to block your mailbox. Do you want to identify yourself? According to law, I don't have to. No, I know. I'm asking you. Do no. you want to identify yourself? I do not. You don't? Okay. All right, any other questions or concerns? from us a lot of questions no concerns okay all right you have a good day sir thank you all right you too. and now i propose to compare two fatal arrests but only in one of them the cops quickly escalated the situation and in the other case uh, they tried to keep him alive as bad they could let's watch hi hello hi did you call yes is he still in there no he's he went out he went he, i think he went to walk out just a little bit ago oh, do you know which way he left I honestly don't know because my kid was crying, but I, I don't know what to do. Like he's so he left. What happened? I think he did. Yeah, you gotta tell him. What so it's been it's been like I've talked with this before, but he's, he's mentally ill. Like he tries to kill himself. He's like three what happened? What happened? Well, it's been okay. He's fine. Um, basically, it's, it's just he's constantly. I mean, I don't know if I want to grab my phone, but. He is constantly trying to kill himself. He's like, what, he's definitely. What made you call 911 right now? Because he's he's hurting himself, and he's he's and he's continuing to drink. And I would have to him to stop drinking. As you can imagine, the cops are trying to find a man who only threatens himself. Apparently, he needs help. But let's see what kind of help these cops will provide. Cops with machine guns are scared of a sword? Seriously? I'm not sure there's anywhere you can buy an actual battle sword nowadays like in medieval times, and it's more likely this guy is just an anime fan. And instead of using a taser, the cops did this. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Drop! Drop! 40! <coughs> Keep an eye on the sword, keep an eye on the sword. Hey, easy, easy, we still got a short chain. Now, let's compare that to how other cops have tried to handle a situation involving a man not with a sword, but with a real gun. Deja la arma dentro y nada, nada, nada va a ocurrir. Solamente vamos a aclarar la situación. Pero con el, si tú sales con un arma, van a sentirse. No, no salga con el arma. Porque van a pensar que lo estás amenazando. Compare this case to the case of the guy with the sword. The cops saw that the man drew a gun but did not threaten them. They tried to keep him alive as much as possible. They fired several shots from the stun gun and only when the man took the gun away from his head and pointed it towards the cops, they fired. <coughs> 
and the last video for today is about the cops who are really trying to hide something. But before you watch the story, I ask you to write any comment and click like. And anyone who wants to support me, I ask you to send how much you can spare by pressing the thanks button. This channel exists only because of you. I like how he tries to block my camera. I'd like to point out, sir, you are free to do this. Yes, I am, sir. See, if people didn't record people as own business, this wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, well, I'm on my property. I can do what I want. And so can I, because yes, I'm sir. on a public sidewalk. Yes, sir, you are. You ever think about doing something else? You ever think about minding your own business? I am, but that's why you get paid to be out here. Why don't you go f off over there? No, I can hang out right here. It's okay. I'm on a public sidewalk. Yeah, you are on a public sidewalk, and I'm on my property. I know. That's why we're I can do whatever the. I want. So then why are you in my face then? I'm not in your face. I'm on a public sidewalk. Nah, you you're in my away. face. I think it's You could walk away. I, I think you should. I don't have to. But I also find it it's Why is this guy coming over here? It's very insensitive to stand here and record people like this. Very insensitive. It's also perfectly legal. I didn't say it wasn't legal. I'm just saying it's very insensitive. It's perfectly legal. As you can see, these cops are trying very hard to hide the brutal arrest from eyewitnesses and are all the more afraid it will be recorded on video. But the weirdest thing to me is the cop shining a flashlight on a sunny day. Very insensitive. So why don't you go mind your business? I'm mining business. I can mind whatever business. I live in this neighborhood. This is my neighborhood. Sure. I'm welcome to record whatever I want. 100%. And you can back off, dude. You're dismissed. You work for me. You are a public servant. You work for me. Okay. I pay your salary. No, actually, you don't. Yes, I do. No, my don't. taxes pay your salary. My taxes pay your salary, dumb do they not? You look the that. car you drive, the house you live in, everything you own, my tax dollars pay for. No, so don't. why don't you go off? No, they don't. Yeah, you're being 100% recorded in live feed. Okay. I think it's terribly insensitive, you sir. I don't give a what you think is terribly insensitive. I can record anything I can see. I believe that. Okay. That's why I'm allowing you to. My eyes are not subject to whatever law that you think in your head. I'm not enforcing you. Okay, I'm then don't. I'm on a public sidewalk. Then go off, man. Yeah. Absolutely. He's trying to teach us gentlemen what, you know, what right and wrong is in terms of public decency. Well, there's legal and there's public decency. Yeah, What's legal? He literally got listed anyways because he passed by the car anyways. The guy would have made it to him, it would have been all on him. So don't give him the attention to the phone. When a cop is so persistently annoying and interfering with the cameraman, you realize he has something to hide. And I wouldn't be surprised if the guy with the camera got arrested. I think the only reason he didn't is because he was lucky enough to be on his own private property. What do you think of this cop? Write your opinion in the comments. You just got schooled, man. Not schooled. Merely uh, advised. Advised. So off. He's still standing right here. He's still here acting like I'm doing something illegal. I never said you are, sir. You're not doing anything illegal. <sighs> At all. I know damn right I'm not. But you approach me for no reason other than I'm consensual recording. Encounter. It's not a consensual yes, encounter. Is. I didn't ask to be approached by you. But I'm not forcing you to stay here, so it is a consensual This is, encounter. I'm on my property. Please, tell me how I'm violating your rights. Just piss off, no, man. No, no, no. Go do something else. If this is, if Go this do is your something. job. This is what my tax dollars are paying you for. To Please, educate me. Go, just off, man. You are dismissed. Oh, now we got another one here. Oh, he's not no, no, he's, he's fine. He's not fine. Just merely trying to educate him based on his... Uh, you can't educate me. You ain't got no education, man. You got six months of law degree. Nothing. You don't even know the laws, you dumb.